this is a pre-built version of the application so uh, let's go ahead and uh, run it let's uh, start with a network of uh, 40 neurons and uh, let's go ahead and uh, train this uh, network to recognize the uh, number one and also train it to recognize the number two and uh, the number three next let's go ahead and uh, run it and maybe give it a distorted uh, one input so we distorted it uh, here and here but it did uh, recognize it as a number one and also let's try running it and maybe give it a distorted uh, two input so we distorted it here and here but it did recognize it as the number two and finally if we run it and give it a distorted uh, three input so we distorted it here and here but it did recognize it as the number uh, three and uh, next let's uh, do an exit and uh, run it again and go with uh, 20 neurons a network of uh, 20 neurons and let's first do a change mode to uh, verbose so let's go ahead and do some uh, training with this uh, pattern so we will be going uh, over how to uh, train a hope filled uh, network while uh, writing the code Let's also try to uh, run it and we also will be going over how to uh, run a hopeful uh, network while uh, writing uh, the code. We'll uh, start by uh, creating a uh, new project. And uh, let's go to the linear algebra project uh, 02 and uh, pick up the matrix implementation logic. and uh, I need a uh, neural uh, network class that uh, will be in uh, this package and uh, this is where the network uh, training and uh, running logic will be and an application uh, driver class with a main method next let's go to the matrix class and uh, 
I'll add this uh, static get matrix method that uh, takes in the user supplied uh, data and uh, the number of rows and uh, returns a matrix instance and uh, let me also add uh, a to packed string method that uh, returns the content of this uh, matrix in uh, matrix format with uh, no labeling uh, added and uh, for this uh, to string method I am hard coding uh, the C and R for column and uh, rows so let's uh, replace it with uh, two to string method and this uh, default one ends up uh, calling the other one with uppercase C for uh, columns and uppercase R for uh, rows next let's uh, go to the neural network and uh, we will have this uh, weight matrix that uh, will be updated when uh, training the network and uh, we will have a get method and a constructor that will uh, instantiate this uh, matrix given the size of the columns and uh, the rows and uh, training will be done in uh, this method that uh, takes in the user uh, input and uh, running will be done in uh, this method so it will uh, take in the user input and end up returning this uh, output uh, array after uh, populating it and uh, let me also define two static helper methods so two bipolar that uh, takes in an array containing uh, zeros and uh, ones and uh, return an array containing uh, ones and uh, negative ones and uh, from bipolar that uh, does the opposite and uh, before finishing uh, this class let's uh, go to the driver class and uh, first let's uh, define this uh, number of rows in a pixel drawing uh, board so for uh, simplicity we'll set that to uh, 5 and uh, we can run this application in uh, two modes in the default mode or in uh, verbose mode and uh, the default mode will be default now in uh, main I will uh, first prompt uh, the user to enter the number of uh, neurons and uh, read that using a buffered uh, reader and uh, we will instantiate a neural network given that uh, number of uh, neurons and uh, let's define the input patterns of uh, zero and uh, ones and the output uh, pattern and I will have a while loop while this uh, flag is uh, true 
I will uh, ask the user what does they uh, want to do to train or to run or to clear or to uh, change mode or to exit and uh, read that uh, choice or uh, exit and in that case I will uh, set the flag to uh, false so that we would uh, exit uh, the while loop and uh, when we do that I will uh, exit the application and uh, let me define this uh, static helper method that uh, takes in what the user entered in the form of a string character iterator and uh, returns an array of uh, double representing the user input so if uh, they selected to a train I will uh, prompt the user to provide the training pattern and uh, read that into the input uh, array that we define over here and uh, do the training and uh, print out the input uh, pattern in the drawing uh, matrix and uh, then I will uh, print out this uh, statement now in the case the user selected to uh, run I will uh, prompt that user to provide the input pattern and then pick up uh, the input and then perform the running and uh, pick up uh, the output uh, array from that and uh, then I will uh, print out the input uh, pattern and uh, output uh, patterns and in case they selected to do clear I will uh, do neural network dot get weight matrix and clear it and uh, change mode I will uh, prompt the user to specify the running mode either default or uh, verbose and uh, pick up uh, that uh, mode so this uh, does it for uh, this class Uh, let's go to the neural network class and uh, finish coding the train and uh, run methods here we have a network of uh, five neurons now a Hopfeld uh, neural network is a single layer where each neuron is connected to all other neurons except itself that's why the way between uh, uh, neuron 0 0 and itself is uh, 0 same for all other neurons and uh, neuron 0 0 is connected to neuron 0 1 0 2 0 3 and uh, 0 4 and all what this uh, 2vi minus 1 uh, does is uh, transform a uh, 0 into a negative 1 and it keeps 1 1 now uh, training is uh, actually assigning uh, the weights here and uh, the network gets trained for the binary inverse automatically and the way we calculate wij is uh, 2vi minus 1 times 2vj minus uh, 1 so uh, 
here w01 is 2v0 minus 1 times 2v1 minus 1 so we end up with negative 1 for w01 and w10 and we do the same to calculate all other weights in this uh, weight matrix so here we calculated the weight matrix for uh, this pattern 10101 and uh, we can do the same and calculate the weight matrix for this pattern 11000 and uh, the way we are able to store and recall both patterns at the same time is to add those two uh, matrices so we add uh, this weight uh, matrix to the previous one and we end up with this weight uh, matrix that is able to uh, store and uh, recall patterns based on uh, partial or distorted uh, input. Now uh, coming back uh, to the code, the train method, I will uh, first uh, transform the input into bipolar input, so negative ones and uh, ones and uh, then I will uh, pick up a matrix, a bipolar matrix from the bipolar input with the two row matrix and uh, then I will uh, do transpose on that uh, bipolar matrix so we have a uh, transpose uh, bipolar matrix and uh, we multiply those uh, two to obtain the weights between uh, the neurons but uh, we have to have uh, zeros along the diagonal so we uh, subtract the identity matrix from the resulting uh, multiply uh, matrix and if we are in uh, verbose mode then I want to uh, print out all that uh, information so let's fix this and uh, the new weight matrix will be the result of adding the pre-existing weight matrix to this uh, resulting subtract matrix and if we are in uh, verbose mode then I will go ahead and uh, print out the new weight matrix is equal to the contribution matrix plus the current uh, weight matrix. Now uh, going to the run method we first uh, obtain the bipolar input and uh, we also obtain the bipolar matrix for that uh, bipolar input and uh, if we are in uh, verbose mode then I will uh, print out all this uh, information so I will uh, display the pre-existing uh, weight matrix and what the bipolar matrix that we obtained is and I will uh, dot product the bipolar matrix and each one of the columns in the weight matrix and uh, this is the code that uh, does that so I will uh, obtain the column matrix for each of the columns in that uh, weight matrix and uh, do the dot product and this would be the result and uh, if the result is uh, greater than uh, 0 
then I will uh, put one in the output array that we defined here otherwise I will put uh, zero in that array and we end up returning that uh, output array. Next let's uh, go ahead and uh, test run the application so let's go with a network of uh, 40 neurons and do some uh, training so this would be for uh, the number one let's see if it would uh, recognize the binary inverse of that uh, number one so it did let's go ahead and maybe distort it so and it still uh, recognize it 